Hi, welcome to the meeting place. My name's Amy. I used to be a volunteer and now an employee. Come on inside and find out who we all are, what we all do and what the plans are for the project. Hi, I'm Graham. I am Adam. Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Beck. I'm Jenny. Hey, I'm Amy. Hi, my name's Jill Sutherland and I am fortunate to be the project manager at The Meeting Place. We are a small charity based in Culloden in Inverness and we provide IT, multimedia and e-inclusion for adults with learning difficulties. The most important part of what we do is to build confidence in people and to show people how good they are to be with. The Meeting Place has been around for four years now and every year that we've been here has taught us so much. Not just um, our learners are learning, but we are learning as a project as well. We ensure that people are valued here as individuals and if they're equipped with existing skills, we help them to utilise them and also to build new skills. But it's important that we're all learning together. Uh, we're very lucky to be funded by Nominate Trust and the Robertsons Trust who have really helped us to be able to reach out and achieve our goals and, and reach new heights. So this is where we start every day. We come in and we have a cup of tea, but the table's been cleared as you can see, and we look at the notes, everybody's notes, um, and decide what their work outcomes will be for the day. And then after the session we write up what they achieved and how it was achieved. So these are very, very important tools for us all because they help us shape where we want to go as a group and where individuals want to go with their, their own learning. <coughs> this is the written plan that we have made with our learners and peer mentors to help put our profile and story together. Although we're a confidence building environment, we are very, very much dependent on volunteers. Volunteers we've always referred to as our pot of gold because without volunteers we would not be where we are today. We also encourage volunteers to be able to use their own skills and develop new skills as well, but we also encourage them to be able to, to move on because our part is to help people to progress whether they're learners or volunteers. Quite often our learners as well take on the role as, as peer mentors where they cascade their skills that they've learnt to other adult attendees at the meeting place. And when you see that happen, we don't only get a buzz from it, but we can see what the learners and those they're supporting are getting from it too. To satisfy funding, we have to ensure that we have targets and goals that we want to reach and explain how we're going to reach them. Funders don't just hand you money. You know, funders have expectations of you to progress and to reach out to people. And our goals and targets are, are in writing and we have set ourselves certain timescales in which to achieve them. If we think we're struggling, we look at why. If we think we're progressing and we're getting ahead, we think that's wonderful, but we don't get complacent because things are changing all the time, new learners are coming about, new people are getting involved, and we just have to make sure that we're always reviewing what we're doing and how we're doing it. You guide Graham to click to open his um, his podcast? Yeah. Okay. Go along. Mouse up onto you, right? And get Graham a double click. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you just... Hi. Welcome to my website. My name is Graham and I'm in politics. It's important that we reach out to rural communities to enable our learners and volunteers and peer mentors to take a lead in cascading their skills in different places around the Highlands. We're hoping to reach out in Rosher, Badenoch and Strasby and hopefully Sky and Lachalsh. But one step at a time, where we're going to go is Rosher. How we're going to go is by marketing to reach the groups and also form the networks that will enable us to bring people together. Okay, go back to page one again. So we've just got to look and see what entry we're going to make for the bottom page. And then you can go to print if you like. Great. <laughs> Mark, do you have a video into your... Uh Website by taking in the URL. R T. 
ing. Adam, you want to set the studio up? No, I'm saying the first mark and then. Okay, um, a group A. We are unique as a project because we're not, um, we have not been able to locate any other groups who are doing what we're doing the way that we're doing it. And quite often adults with learning difficulties can be quite marginalised and assumed possibly to not have the, the scope to or the interest to develop any skills in IT and multimedia and we want to prove and show that you know these adults deserve a chance like everybody else and e-inclusion is a very very modern way forward to ensure that everybody has the same access and support to be able to to use the internet, to develop skills in IT, to be able to record, to be able to film, to be able to podcast. The list is endless. In fact, the list grows as we grow as a project. We need funding to help us to deliver roadshows to groups uh, in Russia to gauge their interest. And it will be a marketing tool, but it will also be a tool to measure need and interest and desire and the more that we can bring people together and show them what opportunities there are to develop their potential then the more chance we will have to set up the equivalent of what we do here in the meeting place in Culloden in other areas within the Highlands. Excellent. Oh, try it again. Okay. Can you give me an S? Promotion of them. John up. Adam, can you show me how you overlap two bits of video yeah. so that they fade together? Right, you have a shot, you can do that. Overlap is. So just very slowly, just. Down here, just now. Together, eh? Yeah. Well done. Making our application to RBS Community Force is fantastic for us. It's not just helping us to develop our multimedia skills with the help of Stewie Media, it's also helping to put us on the map. The funding will be so, so good to help us to really reach out there and make a big difference to lots of people. Highland Children's Forum approached us to ask if we would help a group of young adults to produce a podcast for their entry in the audio part of the Festival of Politics at the Scottish Government. This was a challenge for us, but a successful one. Uh, we were delighted with the hard work everybody put in as a team, but not only because of what we did, but because they also won that particular part of the competition and the overall event. This was a great opportunity for us because it helped us as a project to put the new skills that we'd learned into practice to get ourselves on the map and hopefully to help us reach out even further into communities to show more people how they can do it too. Oh, that's on a disc. They can actually open that sort of way. Oh, God. to take part in a motivation through music 
workshop with John Sinclair. Uh, John Sinclair is a musician, formerly with Black Sabbath, but also has a lot of other strings to his bow, and he has been great, been great to have around. Uh, he engages with young people and everybody else here in just such a natural way that we've loved having him around, and we're delighted to see that John has become our patron. I hope we've covered enough in this video to let you see who we are, what we're about and where we plan to go. The funding through Royal Bank of Scotland Community Force will make such a difference to us and to lots of people. You may know of somebody in the community or know somebody who knows somebody in the community who could benefit from what we do. Help us to help our learners and peer mentors to share their skills and make a difference to people's lives. We really would love your vote. It would make such a difference. Thank you.